Hello everyone, welcome to my channel truepathastrology.com. This is Rajni and this is for all Aquarius Ascendants and uh, this is the monthly predictions for the month of April 2021. And those who have number 11 written in the first house of your chart, this is for you so uh, you can continue watching. Uh, this reading is actually based on general transits of the planets and you see transits will show just the general results but if you want more accurate and specific reading you should check your birth chart and see how the transits are affecting you in particular and that way um, you will be able to get an accurate prediction based on your birth chart for yourself and you will know what promise uh, does your birth chart have for you for the month of April so for that please visit my website truepathastrology.com or um, contact me via email mentioned below for a specific uh, astrological consultation based on your birth chart now let us um, quickly go ahead and see what is in store for you in the month of April now Saturn is in its own house in the 12th house of the chart sitting with Jupiter. Now you must watch for expenses that may be beyond what you budgeted this month and Saturn is a planet of uh, uh, we can say restriction. Now 12th house also denotes uh, loss and expenses and a career change is possible for some of you as Saturn in the 12th can give uh, these kinds of uh, results. Now second house Lord is Jupiter and Jupiter is the is uh, in the 12th creating niche Bhangaraj yoga. So Jupiter is not able to give you full results of the second house of wealth and finance at this time. But Jupiter will be moving out of the 12th house on April 6th which is great news. Here in the ascendant Jupiter will be free to give you its full results after April 6th. Good in terms of finance, wealth, any problems you had with property or home or vehicle could get resolved after April 6th. Now in the second house, you have three planets sitting, Sun, Mercury and Venus. Venus is exalted here, great for finance until April 10th. Now after April 10th, you may see a bit of dip in the financial situation, but nothing bad. Uh, after April 14th, Sun will move into the sign of Aries and Sun will be exalted here and you will be courageous and you will be able to put in your best efforts at this time. And short distance travels is a possibility for some of you as well. Now Mercury will be in the second house and will move into the third house on April 16th. You will be great at writing, your communication will be excellent, overall great results from Mercury for you. Now fourth house ruled by Taurus. Mars and Rahu together are forming Angaric yoga but April 13th Mars will be moving into the fifth house so watch out for some arguments with family members at this time and some of you will find a dip in your happiness in your home environment as well but uh, after uh, mid-April you should see a great improvement and you will find yourself more relaxed and happier at home. Now fifth house Fifth house is ruled by Mercury. When Mars comes into the fifth house, Mars is not that great in the fifth house. It can make you feel a bit lonely. Students will find this period good um, for their study matters and those in sports actually will excel at this time. Sixth house, Moon is the ruler. Moon is placed in the 10th house of Scorpio and is with Ketu. Moon transiting the 10th house is considered good. Any time moon from its position is placed in the 1st, 3rd, 6th, 7th, 10th or 11th house, moon will always give good results. But 8th or 12th is not considered good. If moon is 8th or 12th from its position, then it will give rise in expenses, mind will not be sharp or your overall health may be affected. So let's move on to the 7th house. 7th house is ruled by sun. Watch out for your ego with your spouse or partner this month. Make a decision to let go of minor arguments and give in if you can. And let's see 8th house. 8th house is ruled by Mercury and if you're dealing with insurance matters or in the career related to any insurance or if you are into deep research of some sort you will do extremely well. Of course when it comes to money matters think through and don't do anything in haste or else uh, you will see your money getting stuck. Let's move on to the ninth house. Ninth house is ruled by Venus. Ninth house is a house of luck and fortune. 
Luck will favor you in matters of your career, finance, and some of you may get promoted at work and you will see yourself working um, well and cooperatively with all your colleagues at workplace. 10th house. 10th house is ruled by Scorpio. As I said earlier, work-wise is a great period, but after April 13, when Mars will go into the 5th house, 5th house is 8th from the 10th. So some of you could see a bit of problem at your work. So you need to focus on your work more at this time and do not take anything for granted at work. 11th house. 11th house is ruled by Jupiter after april 6th you will see a lot of gain overall your friend circle will expand some of you may even meet some old friends that you may not have met for a long long time 12th house 12th house is ruled by saturn watch out for unnecessary expenses as i said earlier try to budget and keep your finances under control if at all you see any changes coming i would say take it positively and move forward with some uh, determination so this was a general overview for the month of April for all Aquarius Ascendant. Uh, if you liked my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. And of course, do not forget to hit the bell icon. So any new videos I bring, you will be notified of that immediately. Thank you very much for watching.